I'm Ali. Today I'm going to read your story called Tara Pays Up. Are you ready to listen? Okay, I'm going to read you the story. Tara Pays Up. Oh no, I just spilled grape juice all over my absolute favorite t-shirt, the one I made myself. I flat down on the grass. That's when I feel something small and cold against my arm. A quarter, yes! This day just got a lot better. My sister Jo sticks her head out the door. What are you hollering about? I found a quarter, I tell her. Jo raises an eyebrow. So, so, I say, I've been saving up from Super Dulux make your, make your own t-shirt kits for weeks. Do you, Dulux, make your own t-shirt kit. Uh, now I have ex exactly enough to buy it. I put on a clean shirt and get my money jar. Walk neat, cool crafts? I ask Joe. Sure, she says. Joe likes the store as much as I do, maybe even more. She glances at the clock. It closes in an hour. We better better take the bus. Cool Crafts is awesome. It's full of ribbons and yarn, pipe pipe cleaners, clay, colored glass, feathers, and wiggly eyes. There are kits for making candles and puppets. You can even build a bird bath. But I want only one thing, the Super Dulux Make Your Own T-Shirt Kit. That will be $16.80. The cashier tells me. I pointed to the price tag, but it says $16. The extra $0.80 cents is for tax, she replies. I only have $16. I say, why do I have to pay tax? Everybody pays tax, ta tax Joe tells me. What for? Joe loves to explain sh stop, stuff. Especially to me, for things people use like public places and services. I don't use those things, I complain. I'm just a kid. Mm, joke is a funny look on her face. Tell you what, she says. I'll give you 80 cents, but starting now, whenever you use something taxes pays for, you'll owe me 10 cents. I really want a kid deal, I say. We step out cool crops. You owe me 10 cents. Joe says, already I have got four for using the sidewalk. I'm not giving you money every time I walk on a sidewalk, I tell her. Okay, says so Joe, I'll only charge you the first time you use something Texas pay for. We get to the corner just as the bus pulls up. Joe has a gleam in her eye. There's another 10 cents, she says. The city wouldn't have buses if people didn't pay taxes. taxes. Joe's beginning to be a real pain, but I don't care. I can't wait to get home and design my t-shirt. I don't get the chance. As soon as we walk in, Mom says, dinner time, everyone washed up. I I beat Joe to the sink, past the soap, he says, and by the way, you owe me another 10 cents. I can't believe it, for soap? For the water, Joe gets that. I'm so smart look on her face. Taxes help pay for us to have clean water whenever we need it. Know it all, I mutter. <clears throat> What's happening at school? What's happening at school, Mom asks me. We're taking a field trip to City Hall, I tell her. Joe grins, a public building, 10 cents, Tara, not again, what's going on, asks Sad. we made a deal, I explain, Joe paid the tax on my t-shirt, so I'm supposed to give her 10 cents every time I use something taxes pay for, like City Hall, Joe adds, that's some deal, that says, how is your class getting there, Tara, the school bus, I tell him, taxes pay for that too, Dad points out, Hashing, Joe makes a noise like a crash register. Ten cents, please. Gee, Dad, I say thanks a lot. I speed through the chores after dinner. I'm taking up the garbage when Joe says, Ten cents, please. Why? I'm doing all the work. I groan, you're only taking it to the trash can. He says, someone else has to take it away. If we didn't pay the taxes, the garbage would just pile up. Gross, I say. 
I lost his t-shirt time. I opened my kit. Don't forget your homework, Mom calls. Oops, I have a report to do. I grab my book and start reading as fast as I can. Joe sneaks up behind me. Is that a library book? I made a face. If I say no, will you believe me? No. She says a library stamp on the cover. Ten cents, please. She points to the light. Um, I sigh. Finally, I finish my book report, and guess what? It's that time. I don't have any clean sh- clean clothes for school tomorrow. I tell Dad, can I stay up and make the teacher? Not to worry, Tara. Dad winks. I just did the laundry. Grr. I'll never get to make a t-shirt. At lunch, at breakfast, I catch Joe checking out my kit. Hands off, I say. I haven't even used it yet. I'm just looking. Joe tells me, don't be late for school, you two, Mom says. Just reminds reminds me, said Joe. Taxes pay for public schools, so you owe me another ten cents. I smirk. Fine, I'll just stay home. Nice try, says Mom. See you girls later. Just as Joe and I get to the corner, they don't walk, sign starts blinking. It's another ten cents, she says. Taxes pay for traffic lines and street signs. Oh, brother, what did I get myself into? During free time, I try doodling t-shirt designs, but I can't concentrate. I was still thinking of the money I owe Joe. I never should have made that deal. Then I get an idea. If I don't use the things taxes pay for, I don't have to pay Joe. After, every day after school, Joe and I walk walk home through Elam Street. It's a great big park with paths to walk on, swing sets, swing sets some play on, and a skating rink in the middle. Taxes pay for public parks, Joe tells when we get there. You owe me another ten cents. I'm not going to walk walk through the park today. I say I'll walk around it. So I don't know you anything. I feel pretty smart. But you're supposed to. But you're not supposed to walk alone. She says. She says Joe. We're supposed to stay together. Whatever. I march into Elam Street. A second later, I hear Joe stomping after me. I can't believe you're making us go to the wrong way. Joe complains. My feet. My feet are killing me. Your taxes are killing me, I tell her. Well, if I get blisters, I'm changing into band-aids. That's not fair, I say. I yell. It is so, Joe yells back. No, it's, I stop. Hey, where are we? I don't know, Joe says. You were bugging me, so I wasn't paying attention. She looks all around Tara. I think we're lost. Uh-oh, I go. There's no sign of the park. Phew. I spot a policeman and run into him. We're lost, I explain. Can you tell us how to get to Elam Street Park? The park will be at the big donut stand, he explains. I'm heading that way myself. He starts walking. Officers for our police, a public service. He whispers back, which you are. Why do you ask? I just wonder, I sneak, at, I sneak a look at Joe. Drat, she was listening. That's another dime. By the time we're on Elam Street, I've done the math. I owe Joe a dollar, and we haven't even walked through the park yet. You win, I say. I do use, I do use things taxes pay for, but I already owe you a dollar, and that's more than you lend me for my kid. So this deal's off. Just not fair enough. You still have to give me the money, though. Hmm. I wonder if Joe would like to make another deal. By the time we get home, I have an idea. Tell her what is it. I'll make you a t-shirt with my Super Dulux. Make your own t-shirt kit. Joe perks up, but I'm going to charge you for using it. Think of it as a tax, I grin. That will be one dollar, please. Joe starts laughing. Deal. Okay, and today I read you a story called Tara Pays Up. Okay, thank you for seeing this video. Bye.